Hey, we're here at the Bertelsmann Foundation in Washington, D.C., and we're asking folks in our office and around town for their thoughts on the U.S., Europe, and the transatlantic relationship. And our next question is, if you could go anywhere in Europe, where would you want to go and why? That is a tough question. That's a good question. <laughs> um, let's see, Europe. There's so many places I would want to go to. Where would I go? I, I, wow. Um. <laughs> where would I want to go? <laughs> oh man. Mm. <laughs> Send me for what and for how long? For fun. It depends on what kind of fun. I love Spain. Um, I studied abroad there in college and I would go back to Valencia. I love Valencia. I love the mix of the ocean and the food. My father is Bulgarian and my father's family is still in Bulgaria, primarily Sofia, Bulgaria. And I got to go just for a day and I felt like I just scratched the surface with that. So if I could go back to Europe, I would want to go to Bulgaria and uh, perhaps see my aunt and my cousin again and better understand the food and, and the upbringing my father had. There's a, a bit of a fun week in the Mediterranean called Yacht Week where you and a group of friends can rent a yacht and an island hop around. And so if, if somebody wanted to finance my Yacht Week, I, I would definitely take full advantage of that. I would go to Spain. It would just be nice to be around the culture, get to know people, eat some Spanish food. And I'm a sucker for good paella and a good cerveza. Got, gotta have that. <laughs> I'm really interested in um, countries that have maybe more recently uh, entered the European Union to see how they've transitioned from the past uh, towards the future. Um, I guess Portugal. Portugal sounds fantastic. So I think countries in the, in the Balkans like uh, Croatia, uh, Montenegro, uh, Kosovo, Albania, those countries uh, I haven't yet been to, so I'm very curious in um, learning more and meeting the people of those countries. I'd like to go to theater in London. I'd like to eat in, 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 um, in Paris. I'd love to look, look in Venice. I certainly do want to go to Spain. I want to go to Portugal. I want to go to the Netherlands. I really enjoyed my, uh, my trip to um, to Spain. I, I saw three great cities in Spain and uh, Portugal always seemed a little more exotic and a little more mysterious as well as accessible because it's still Western Europe. I'd love to go look at the landscape in Turkey. I wouldn't mind going back to England. I'm being a little lazy now because I do not have another language or European language firmly under my belt. So that would be, you know, an easy thing to do. But I also love the English countryside. I have had an opportunity to go to Bath, to go to Cambridge, to go out to Stonehenge, and um, just headed out there. I mean, the sights were just stunning. And of course, to go to Italy because there's a kind of infectious vitality. I would probably pick Italy because it's my favorite country. I lived there um, for a little bit, and I would just uh, get me a ticket, and then I'll take the train everywhere around Italy. I've always wanted to do Italy just because it's so romantic and I like pasta. <laughs> Is that like stereotypical? I don't know, <laughs> but Italy seems cool. It looks beautiful. <laughs> Malta, beautiful country, wonderful food. Uh, it just is my happy place and it makes me feel good the moment I set foot on the ground there. Mm.